Non-Euclidean geometry and Einstein-Rosen bridges converge in antichamber, the Large Hadron Collider of first-person puzzlers. What starts as a kaleidoscope of trippy wandering soon takes on a portal-esque feel when you come across a strange device that allows you to pick up and place little cubes. But antichamber's free-flowing cyclical nature, dotted with secrets and shortcuts, sets it apart from portal's procedural mad science with a world equal parts savage math and life-affirming aphorisms. It's a garden of forking paths where getting lost isn't an issue. Pressing escape returns you to a control room of sorts, where a map plots your progress and lets you quickly revisit any area. The device is upgraded over time, exponentially upping its usefulness, opening up previously impossible puzzles for experimentation. There are simple instructions on how to use your new abilities, but many of the finer mechanics are left for you to discover yourself, though certain situations will draw out these latent abilities. The Spartan look and ambient soundscape work to great effect, presenting the world in a simple, direct manner. This allows the game's visuals, which do a great job of communicating its internal logic, to guide your excavations and escapes. The sterile style isn't devoid of beauty or color either. Countless visual treats are tucked away in this labyrinth. Antichamber succeeds most when it's not being so obvious in its deceptions. While the later puzzles still elicit the odd eureka moments born from lateral thinking, they mainly play out through more obvious unlocking mechanisms, in the surface of opening doors as opposed to traversing space itself. It's the game's early manipulations of your misconstructions that stand out as the hallmarks, and are both wonderful and simple. As the edifying posters strewn on the walls often proclaim, it's about seeing things differently. And while the more obvious gating puzzles aren't as charming, Antichamber still manages to craft its conclusion to a crescendo, with the swelling geometry taking on a personality, successfully building a narrative despite a lack of story. Some of the 3D space manipulation and dreaded first-person jumping can fall on the side of frustrating, but the overall chill feel is never forfeited. Antichamber has curves like a Mobius strip, seemingly impossible, begging to be traced. See this and other GT shows and game reviews on the GT Originals iOS app, available now on the App Store.